guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a very highly requested video I think a lot of you've been asking me about how I wash my brushes and how I do it so I've decided to post this for you guys I hope you guys will like it I've, I've shown you the techniques I use and also how I spot clean and the products that I use I love so much and they just make my brush cleaning routine so much easier I try to wash my brushes and sponges as much as possible to keep them super clean because they are put on your face but anyways I'll just jump straight into this video and the first thing that I like to grab is the Beauty Blender Solid Soap I think that's what it's called but um, this is what it looks like it's kind of on the pricey side obviously because it's Beauty Blender but I think I got this for around £12 on Amazon and I did try the sample first and I absolutely loved it and I had to just get the actual one. Then I like to grab this um, makeup brush kind of cleaner device. I use a brush egg that my mum got for me for Christmas. They're actually super affordable on eBay. You can get them for super cheap. And the pink one is from Beauty Blender as well. So here's my dirty brush and I like to wet it first and please make sure that when you brush your when you wash your brushes try to not get the water in the barrel like the silver part of the brush because the glue's in there and if you get water in there it's going to soften the glue up and then your brush is just going to be ruined over time and I like to just rub this into the soap and then scrub it with the the soap device thing it's called a brush egg I don't know why it's called that but um, it's really good because of the dents it really kind of scrubs your brush and makes sure that all the makeup residue is taken out and then I like to use it as well to rinse off the soap make sure to scrub it gently don't be too harsh with it because you don't want to ruin your brush either and once that's all washed off I like to squeeze it and take out all the excess water and there you go that's a clean brush for you <laughs> I just really love this beauty blender soap now it just cleans your brush so well as you can see and um, I did use a towel kind of thing like you can see here to just dry off the brush and then I just put it on a towel and kind of on an edge so that it can dry thoroughly on both sides of the brush and then I'm just giving you another example here's another brush this is my MAC stippling brush as you can see it's horribly dirty and I do the same technique I just dip it in the soap kind of scrub it with my brush egg and then rinse it then squeeze it <laughs> and then I just um, get off the excess water and there you go clean brush <laughs> and it's a good thing to put your brushes on an edge so that it dries nicely don't put them upwards where because the water will go into the barrel try to lay them down if you can th lay them upside down where the brush is facing downwards and that the water can come out that's a really good technique as well um here i'm just doing my eye brushes i like to use the pink beauty blender scrubby thing it actually came with the soap and it's just nice to clean your brushes with and i literally just do the same technique My brushes take less time to do, they're super quick to do, it's just the face brushes, I really like to spend more time on them because you wipe it all on your face. Now onto my beauty blenders and sponges and stuff, I do the same thing, I use the soap and you really want to squeeze the sponge in your hands and really get the soap in there. You, you don't want to just wash the surface, you need to get the soap deep in there and really scrub it in your hands with, and try not to ruin the sponge either but um, that's what I'm really doing and when you're done with it make sure that there's no excess soap and that the water that's coming out of it is clear this one is a bit dirty and I have had it for a while that's why there's still stuff left on it I can't get it out but that's the best I can do and then onto my beauty blender as you can see it's disgusting and I just do the same thing I 
I do this with my sponges every single time I use them. I never leave them dirty, never reuse them because I just need them to be super clean when I put them on my face and it's so easy for mold to grow in them and also when you let them dry, let them dry in open air, don't try to ziplock them in some type of container or bag or anything, you need them to dry it properly so that there's no mold growth in them. Now I'm going to show you how I spot clean my brushes and it's super simple, I just take my makeup wipes, these are the number 7 beautiful skin quick thinking wipes, I just really like them but you can use any makeup removing wipes, I just like to fold them on a flat surface and then take a, an eye brush, I only do this for my eye brushes by the way, and I just literally just wipe it on it and I do this until I see no more makeup coming off it and it's just something that I like to do between um, like makeup looks I mean I don't wash my brushes every single time so this is just a quicker way to get them clean and then use it for another eyeshadow and yeah it's just super simple there is another thing called cinema secrets brush cleaner something like that I really want to get it but it's hard to get your hands on it in the UK but hopefully I will have it soon but this is what I do for now and I just really like to do this technique but yeah that's how I clean my brushes I really hope you guys enjoy this video there you can see I just lay them all down and let them dry like this Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Let me know what you would like to see next and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Um, I, co I constantly use this in every single one of my tutorials. I can't find a better moisturiser. I mean I've got so many moisturisers at, moisturizers at home but this is like my 